In our next lesson, we're going to talk a little bit about continuity. Um, continuity <clears throat> um, is basically a, um, something we're going to be looking at to find points of discontinuity between functions. And so to start out, I'm going to talk a little bit about the definition. A function f of x is continuous at a point x0 if three conditions hold. The first condition is that the function f of x is defined at the point x0. The second, the limit as x goes to x0 of f of x exists. And what we mean by that is, again, if we go back to our one-sided and two-sided limits, it means that the two one-sided limits are equivalent, and they are the same as the two-sided limit. Okay. And then the third condition says that if I look at the limit as x goes to x0 of f of x, it equals the function value at that particular point. Okay. So if those three conditions hold, the function is continuous at that particular point. And we can expand that to say a function is continuous on an interval if f of x is continuous at every point within the interval. Okay. So looking at that notion of continuity, we can then look at what it means to be discontinuous. Okay. For discontinuous, we have two ways a function can be discontinuous. There's what we call removable discontinuities and non-removable discontinuities. Okay. A removable discontinuity is what we consider a deleted point. It means if I look at the graph, it's a point that can be removed and just leaves a hole in the graph. Okay. Um, in terms of the function, it's a function that can be rewritten so that the point is no longer a point of discontinuity. Okay. And then for non-removable, we actually have two types of non-renewable discontinuities. Removable. Um, the first is what we consider our asymptotes, our vertical asymptotes for a function. These are basically the discontinuities where the function is undefined. So example would be things like 1 over x in that graph, x equals 0, would be a non-renewable asymptote. Okay. The other type is just the non-renewable discontinuities. These are the ones that aren't asymptotes, but they're still discontinuities for the functions. Um, so if we look at the function, it can't be rewritten, we can't remove the asymptote, um, I'm sorry, we can't remove the deleted points, and we can't get rid of the asymptotes. So those would be just non-removable discontinuities. Okay. Um, here's a general picture of just an arbitrary function, and here we're going to show just a couple different types of discontinuities that we can see in terms of the picture of the graph. Okay. So if I'm looking at the picture of a graph, um, there's three types of discontinuities that you would see. Okay. The first would be something like at the point x equal negative 2. Okay. Um, in this case, if we look at our definition for continuity, the function is defined at the point, and the limit exists. So as I come in from both sides of negative 2, both of those are going to 0. But this would be a case where uh, condition 3 fails. Okay? The limit, which is 0, doesn't equal the function value, which is negative 2. Okay? <clears throat> In the second instance, okay, so here at negative 1, we have a discontinuity because the first condition fails. Okay? So if we look at this one, at x equal negative 1, we can see there's a vertical asymptote here. Both sides go to positive infinity, so the limit exists, but this one is not defined there. x equals negative 1 is not a point in the domain of the function. Okay? And then here at 0, this is an example of where condition 2 fails. Okay? So if we look at this one, the function is defined at the point. f of 0 is equal to 2, so the first condition holds. Um, but now when we get to the second condition, if we look at our one-sided limits, coming in from the left, we're going to positive 1. Coming in from the right, we're going to 2, so the limit does not exist. So here are the three ways you're going to see the conditions failing if we're looking at a graph of continuity.